What about the mechanics of putting together a set of data flow diagrams? Well, they're not all going to fit on one page. Business processes are too complex to be shown on a single data flow diagram. So the way you actually draw a set of data flow diagrams, it's done in a hierarchical fashion with multiple levels of DFDs. And you start with the context diagram, the top level view, and you use the process of decomposition such that you, you break down the top level, very broad overview context diagram into children diagrams that show a portion of the parent diagram in greater detail. So this is, uh, shows you how the, how the decomposition works. Here's a context diagram. The context diagram is the first thing you do. Generally, the entire system is shown as a single process, like you see here. And from that, you decompose it into a so-called level zero. Now, I don't know why they go from context to level zero instead of level one, but that's, that's the convention. Okay, so a level zero diagram where you show all of the major processes at the first level of numbers. So you say one, two, three. These are major processes existing in this so-called sample information system. And it shows the data stores, the external entities, and the data flows among them. The purpose of the level zero DFD is to show all the major high-level processes of the system these three, and how they relate to each other and to stored data. All process models have one and only one level zero DFD. So the context diagram is the highest level DFD and you explode it or decompose it to the level zero. And the context diagram shows the overall business process as a single process, the system itself, and shows the data flows to and from external entities. You do not show data stores on the context diagram, but you do show the external entities sending or receiving data. Then, each process, each separate process, one, two, three, on the level zero DFD are decomposed into a more explicit DFD called a, respectively, a level one DFD, which shows how it operates in more detail. This is from process AA. This is from process CC. This is from process BB up here in the level zero diagram. In general, all process models have as many level one diagrams as there are processes on the level zero diagram. So every process, these three processes, in the level zero, zero DFD would be decomposed into its own level one DFD. So all three of these are level one DFDs. The process in the lo level one D DFD, these, are the children of the parent process in the level zero. So it's a hierarchy with decomposition. There is balancing in this process of decomposition that ensures that information presented at one level of a DFD is accurately represented in the next level DFD. So data flows on a parent are carried down to the child diagram, but, but the child diagram adds its own new processes and new data flows. The so-called context diagram is always the top-level DFD in every process model. It shows the context into which the business process fits, and thus its name, context diagram. It shows the overall business process as simply one process, process zero. And it shows the external entities that receive information or from or contribute information to the system. Just beneath the context diagram, the level zero diagram 
shows all major processes that comprise the overall system. So in our sample information system, we had three separate processes. These are the internal components of the context diagram of process zero. It shows how the major processes are interrelated with the data flows and the data store and data going to and from. It shows external entities and the major processes with which the, the external entities interact. And again, it adds stored data using these data stores. Then again, you create one level one data diagram for every major process on the level zero diagram. And these, again, show the internal processes that comprise a single process on the level zero diagram. Shows how information moves to and from each of these processes. If a, if a parent process is composed, decomposed into, for example, three child processes, then these three child processes wholly and completely make up the parent process. There may or may not be level two diagrams it depends on the complexity of the system, whether they are necessary or not. If any of the processes in the level one diagram appear to be busy with multiple inflows and outflows, it may be appropriate to decompose that process into a lower level child, that is a level two diagram. The ultimate goal is to decompose a process so that each child process performs one and only one essential task not multiple tasks. And again, the numbering is important and um, is done with a purpose. Correctly numbering each process by the existing convention helps the user understand where the process fits into the overall system and into the overall hierarchy.